It's working. All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to 628 Productions. My name is Tim, bringing you everything Thunderbird related. Uh, today it's a little bit of a different episode. Started you in there with a little teaser. Today we are checking out these Oxido LED light bulbs. Uh, been kind of an interesting year uh, YouTubing. Um, I got hit up by one of the representatives for Oxido Headlights. They made their way over to the channel. So what we had going on here with the Thunderbird and how we were kind of review and talk about different things, do projects, and they said, hey, why don't you give these light bulbs a look, give an honest review, and make a video out of it. So that's what we're gonna work on today. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I've never really been too excited about light bulbs. And uh, was like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna have the words to talk about light bulbs, you know, kind of a novel thing. You know, you don't pull up to a car show and say, man, tell me about your LED light bulbs. But um, in trying to figure this out, I have determined that I am quite the light bulb connoisseur and I didn't even realize it. Uh, probably like a lot of folks that have an older vehicle, you start off with the halogen bulbs and then you drop money on the Silver Star uh, light bulbs. So you got that blue hue with the halogen, but it's brighter and you think you're super great. And you probably set back, you know, 50 bucks for these a pair, right? And then, you know, your buddies are like, yeah, my light bulbs are brighter. So again, if you've done everything with the 90s, 2000s, you then went out and bought the ballast kit and the HIDs and you were really setting the world on fire, right? You had some bright light bulbs, but it came with a price. You had all this additional wiring and bracketry and stuff you had to finagle and hide so everything looks clean. So then LEDs came on board. And uh, these were the LEDs that were in the car uh, prior to me starting filming. Uh, but these are a little bit of a different style than the Oxido, so I wanted to pull them out. Just kind of like the first ones that ever came out. They're really not that bright, to be honest with you. They're not the greatest bulbs, uh, but I needed something after I got the car painted. So let's move over to Oxido. And um, it's a decent box. I mean, I saw some people say, man, the packaging is great. You know that that means good quality. If it'll ever open, I'll show you here, but uh, I mean, it's a cardboard box. I think, uh, you know, to say, man, that packaging is fantastic. It's a little crazy. Um, you know, you think about it, these light bulbs here came in the store in a plastic package, a cardboard box. Maybe it's a step up, but I didn't get too excited about it personally. Any of these LEDs, they'll come with a set of gloves. That seems to be pretty standard. Again, I've bought a couple sets for a couple different vehicles. And then you typically get a product manual. And if you're a man like me, you just, you know, it ends up on the ground. You never read it anyhow. If you can't install a light bulb, you know, got a problem. But that's just me being um, male, right? I don't read instructions until I completely botch it up. And then I ask my wife to come and read those to me. But that moves me on to the Oxido light bulb, right? LED. First thing everybody said is, man, it's so much heavier. You can feel, you know, the the durability and the quality of the product. And I do have to say it is a well-made product. Um, I would say the upper half where the LED is, is a uh, machined aluminum. I've heard others mention that and the bottom standard plastic, but um, it made me really wonder about weight because everybody said, oh, it's so much heavier. So if you put it on a scale, I know weight's important to some people. One light bulb, 67 grams, right? So I was like, well, how big of a difference is that really in comparison? So that's just a factory halogen. Factory halogen's 35, so it's about half the weight. I don't think it really takes a genius to realize if you did the HID, probably only part of it on there. Yeah, it's like five times the weight. And then, you know, of course, uh, the normal style, a little bit heavier. So if you're currently running LEDs, with the wire and the accoutrements, it's a little bit more than Oxido, which is coming in at 67, 68 grams. Nothing too exciting, but you know, I heard people do reviews on these bulbs. I don't know anything about bulbs, so of course I watched other review videos to build my own, and uh, everybody said, man, these are some heavy duty bulbs. Eh, you know, they're heavy enough. I think what they were trying to beat home, and maybe I just took it a little too literally, is that they're a, a very quality build product. Now, let's move over to the car. And I gotta grab a light, because this is kind of the dim part of the garage, so let me set that up for, for you folks. 
get you some light, right? So probably one of my biggest pet peeves with Thunderbirds of this era, um, again, mind you, the 95 through 97 are gonna have the single light bulb, dual function. If you have one of the 8993, uh, you got the two bulbs set up, you know, in the mid 90s, they switched to the uh, marker inside. But where I'm trying to go here is most of these vehicles, like let's say you bought a Mustang in the 2000s, you can actually take the light bulb housing out. Thunderbirds Cougars, I guess that was like an afterthought or it wasn't there at the time. So if you're a bigger man like me, I mean, you barely have enough room. Um, and that bulb right in there is the Oxido bulb, uh, the other of the set. I installed that off camera. But space is an important thing, okay? And again, this is the other LED and it's kind of rocking the cord. And honestly, I like the OE style over here uh, because it cleans up the cords. I still need to get in there and clean up. I have intentions to build like a, like a dress up pad. Uh, what would you call it? Like a dress up piece of metal. I'll try to show you what I'm doing here. So not to derail this too far, but it's in the works. I got a panel. That's gonna go on top of there and then there's gonna be sheet metal that comes down, right? But anywho, all right. Back on track here. All right, and I lost my life, man. All right, got my life. All right, so where I'm trying to go with this is real estate is super important uh, when it comes to these cars. And um, also, um, you know, like when I had the HIDs, there's nine miles of wire, you know, and you tried to hide the snake it and, you know, you thought you were cool, so you kind of buttoned them up over here so everybody knew you had HIDs. And then, you know, these these LEDs are probably more recent, but some of them, man, I've seen where you had this, plus you had like one of these little uh, relays, you know, to change the power output to be able to work. The Oxido does away with that. So to me, that was value number one, right? Immediately, that was the first thing I saw you're gonna able to pick up a little more real estate and it's a little ease of use to put in there. I'd still say like on any vehicle that I've owned, these are some of the worst headlights to install. Um, truly, how this worked out for me is man, you gotta like push your wiring inside the car, put the bulb in and then kind of come at it from the backside here. I mean, there's not a lot of real estate to work with. So that's huge to me. If you can get rid of wiring, kind of clean things up, and get great light lighting output from it. That's that's huge, right? And again, Oxido gave me these bulbs just for an honest review. I didn't know the name of the company prior to them handing them over to me. So, um, and I don't have any skin in the game. They again provide those to me to be just truthful with you all and make some content. So that's what we're doing. So again, my takeaway: if you're a weight conscious person. Eh, they're about mid-range. I mean, you're not going to gain a ton of weight. You're not going to lose a bunch of weight. If you're looking to cut weight for racing from a headlight, probably not the same person as I. I'm just trying to make sure I can see at night. I avoid animals, right? But hey, trying to put it all out there. The other thing I saw in most of these reviews is people had that, you know, halogen light bulb on one side and the Oxido LED in the other, and they're like, oh my God, it's so much brighter. I can't believe it. I can see the moon and all stuff nine miles away. And I'm like, bro, any light bulb's brighter than a halogen. So I didn't go that direction. I just went LED that I got off of eBay, Amazon, whatever, against the Oxido. That's what I think is a more honest review of this particular product. You know, I could throw that Silver Star in there and be wowed that it's a hundred times brighter than that new LED technology, but I'm gonna spare you guys that humor, right? So let me roll over to the car here and we'll turn on the lights. Lights are now on and I gotta turn off a bunch of lighting in here so you all can see the difference. So let me do that real quick. Knock out the lighting. And then I'm gonna set you guys on top of the roof. Set up the shot. 
And then we're gonna look at a dirty wall, right? Because I'm not taking the car out this evening, just to show some light bulbs. And uh, I think this will be the point. Nothing too drastic here. Um, I filmed this about, I don't know, I filmed this about three times trying to figure out how to really pitch some headlight bulbs. Uh, since that's not my normal wheelhouse. But, uh, what up? Got everything set up here. Let me get uh, around my dirty garage. And, uh, heck, I'll even turn off the ring light. Okay, so, I'm no headlight expert. The Oxido headlight is on the right hand side of the screen. The LED that I bought off of eBay, it's supposed to be the same color, is on the left hand side or driver's side of the screen. It's very apparent to me that the light pattern is tighter and brighter with the Oxido headlight, hands down, no question about it. I don't have any special tools. I don't have any thing that will tell me lumens to see if they're honest about their amount of light each will produce. I have no clue, it could be way off, but I do know for a fact that it's quite a bit brighter than the other LED bulb. I can say that with definity. All right, so that brings me to another point. The cool thing about Oxido is they say, hey Tim, we want you to showcase these on your channel. We'll give you a free set and Oh, this is good. We'll give you a discount code so people, if they want to buy light bulbs, they can use your code. You can put it at the bottom here and they can get light bulbs at a heck of a value and kick you like two bucks back. I think that's what it amounts to. It's not much, right? But it's a cool idea. But me being the honest guy that I am, <laughs> if you go to their website, the light bulbs are more expensive than if you buy them on Amazon. So, being the guy that I am, I can't ask you to go on their website, use my code, pay $10 more, so I make $2. That's just really not in my best interest, not in yours. And uh, let me cut this off here real quick. So, um, if anything, I think they're an awesome headlight. Hands down, they are super bright. Um, I think the value of them is there. Um, again, packaging is nice. I always just put on the blue gloves. I've never wore these, I guess you could. Um, I think we wear them once maybe to pull weeds and then they go away. I've had them, I think they came with a set with those LEDs and the HID kit came with it. And again, when you buy that kits from retail, they don't typically include them. So nothing too exciting with the packaging for me. Um, again, nice quality light bulb. They put the fan up by the LED. I, I don't know if that helps. It's just something I can see on this particular one. They put it on the bottom and then it blows up there again. This one has what looks like less overall LED, um, but it's a heck of a lot brighter. So again, I don't understand the technology. I just simply wanna see when I go down the road and frankly, keeping this car out of harm's way, uh, be it just running the lights during the day or running them at night when I'm trying to make it home is uh, a top priority for me. So these light bulbs, I would recommend them. Uh, it's a 9007 bulb. Let me just pull up the box here and show you exactly which ones they sent me. Uh, 9007 HB5. And then let me get this other package in here. And uh, it says LED Q16. Um, it says they're a 6000 uh, K color temperature. And uh, it says you get 50,000 hours of usage. So, oh, and then they say aviation aluminum so maybe they're made out of old airplanes i have no idea they're just bright light bulbs and i like them so i'm bringing that to you guys today i hope this was helpful oxido again i can't thank you all enough this has been a really cool journey for me personally on uh, youtube i never thought somebody would send me their light bulb products to try out in this car and just give an honest review and talk to people about it so i uh, appreciate you guys this channel uh, it's really taken uh, me on places in life I never thought I'd be. I didn't think I'd spend 15 minutes talking 
light bulbs. But here we are. They're a great product. Again, pull them up on Amazon. There was 4,700 positive reviews. I think they have a 4.5 overall uh, satisfaction uh, rating for stars on Amazon. I always look at that when I buy something that seems pretty good. Um, other people besides me seem to really like these light bulbs. And again, I'm not biased. I didn't even know they existed, to be truthful with you, but uh, they were gracious enough to send me their light bulbs, and I am thankful. They do a great job on these cars. I would recommend them. And again, make your way over to Amazon. They sell the light bulbs for less on Amazon.com. When I was there just a few days ago, I want to say they were like $69 with a $10 coupon off, so I don't think the cost is any different uh, than, again, Run out to Walmart and look for the Silver Stars. I think these are still like $49. And why people are buying halogens in 2023, almost 24, I have no idea. But check them out. They're good headlight bulbs. They look good on your car. Make sure you don't hit anything. And uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. I appreciate you guys checking me out. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or just want to hit that little like, uh, put a thumbs up on this one, uh, it'd be much appreciated. To the next one. Peace. We've been the world since you felt like this, 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 this. We've been the world since you felt like this, this. We've been the world since you felt like this, this.